So if I paint it, it's gonna be way really huge. So the difference is um the paint effects do look like a pencil. Let me show you right there, something you can tell. Okay. You know, it looks like a pencil right there. Whereas the paint effects tool, the arson tool, sorry, it's a paintbrush that looks like this. Okay. So they they are two different things. Let me go into Q for search tool. If I select this object, okay. Let me go back a sec. Okay, right now I'm still in the uh, paint effects tool. Press, uh, I can tell it's because right here. And press A to my keyboard to go back perspective. Now when you see this tool, go back to uh, select tool. And select, select this object. Press five or six on your keyboard. Okay. So now if I were to use this tool, it's still in the paint effects tool. Let's say I want to paint something on here. I have to go up here to texturing, repaint tool, with the option box. Let's say I paint something. Okay, when you see the red X, you can't paint it. Again, you have to scroll down, assign the texture, uh, choose whatever resolution. Right now, just keep it default. Okay. And then now if I try paint over it, the orange, let's say I want to paint those flowers, these flowers I cut right here, let's say I cut this one, let's see if I paint, right there, I paint the flowers in, okay, so this is the arson tool, and then, again, if I want to switch from the arson tool over to paint effects tool, I press number 8 on my keyboard, okay, so, 8 on the keyboard, press 8 again, Okay, sometimes when you go into 8, it, you go into the, um, sorry, when you press, go back, when you press 8, you get the canvas tool, okay, so you go, what happened to my, uh, little pencil, what you have to do is open the visor, here's my visor, you can right click and hit apply, so now, let me go back to this tool, some reason it doesn't do it and sec oh right there it does but it's yeah it's not um because the sphere is not selected so if I click on drag right there okay so eight will be the um pen effects tool however uh, if you don't see the little pencil you have to open the visor go window general editor visor and then you need to double click on say one of them and now if I paint it right there just left mouse to drag it okay remember U and left mouse the letter U and left mouse works only for arson tool it doesn't work for the paint text tool see when if I hold down U and left mouse click it won't work however if I go into let's say I'm still in the paint text tool I can tell okay so let's say I click on this one Okay, first I need to exit the paint effects. Right, right here I can tell it's, I'm in the paint effects. Press 8. Right there. Select the object. If I want to paint again, I go texturing, do the paint tool. Okay, there it is. So if I try paint, right there. So now I'm in the paint effects tool. I can tell it's, it's a brush, not a pencil. So I can hold on like a U. Left mouse click. So now I have that. Okay. Here I can blur it. I can blur it. Press Z to undo. Okay, so, okay, to undo, make sure you go back to set tool. Press the letter Z. Right there. It won't work if you uh, if your cursor is in the paint of uh, uh, artisan tool. Okay. So if I hold on, click this one. Hold on B, left mouse, drag to left. So if I paint another one, okay, so make sure that I can check this one. Say I pick these guys. So right there I can paint right over it. So the like U works only for the artisan tool, the U left mouse. Okay, now let's go over the um, create a new scene. Don't save. 
I'm going to create a sphere. Click and drag. Okay. F5 on my keyboard. Press F first and then the number 5. Let's go over to the channel box. You know that you can uh, select any one of them. If I want to skip one, I hold down control and click whichever and then move mouse over here. Hold down middle mouse and I can drag it. Okay. Instead of typing any number, I can select whichever one I want. Middle mouse drag it. Yep. Okay, now to keyframe these, what you do is you hold down, if you want to keyframe everything from translate all the way down to scale, you press the letter S on your keyboard. You have to select the object, press S, so now everything is keyed again. Okay, let me undo it. If I only want to keyframe the translate, I hold down Shift W, so now I only keyframe these. Now if I want to keyframe rotate only, I hold down sh Shift E, right there. And these guys will be shift R. And that's how I can uh, keyframe for a specific one. Okay, let me set everything. Right click and choose break connection. Left click on it. It will delete everything. Okay, so now let's say I keyframe it. Select the object. Let me make it, let's say, 120 frame. Hit enter. And then with the set object, I'm going to hit W for move tool. And let's say I want to, uh, to keyframe only the translate, shift W. And I can move it over. Uh, let me move the timeline, let's say to 25. Or 24, doesn't matter. Now move it forward. Okay. And shift W again, keyframe. Move forward to 50. Oh, sorry, I forgot to uh, keyframe it. Shift W. And then 75. Say so I want to go over here. Up. Shift W. Okay, so now I have, um, let's, let me go all the way to N. Shift W again. Okay, now I have keyframe. Okay, if I want to play, I hit Alt V on my keyboard. Let me right click. Okay, oh, before I go over the Alt V, okay, now let's say I want to go into uh, Attribute Editor, or you can press Control A. Let's zoom in right here. So now anytime when I want to change uh, this, these numbers, I can either type in manually or I, what I can do is I can select the object first, hold down control and left mouse drag it and here I can change the numbers. Okay? Let me undo it. If I hold down control middle mouse drag it, I will increase it a little bit more. Okay, let's say I want to move it. Okay, so now right here, uh, let's say I want to move it in the X axis, hold down control, left mouse drag. Okay, like that. If I hold on control middle mouse, I move it even faster. Now if I hold on control right mouse click drag, it moves very fast. Okay, and that's how you can change the numbers in here. And if you want to change very small, what you do is, um, what you can do is hold on out uh, the L key. See how I can move it up or down, left or right. Like that. That's how I can change very minute scale. Okay, rather than, hold, rather than using a control left mouse, I can do a control left mouse, like that, or I can do the out, right, up, left, or down key, down arrow, okay? Now the, um, the virtual slider, for example, if I go in channel box, and as I say, click the name, and middle mouse drag, I can do the virtual slide, however, it will not work in the attribute editor. Let's say if I go in attribute editor, and I click the name, see, I can't click the name, and I can't middle mouse drag, okay? Well, that's because the other one is selected, like that. However, if I have, let's say, nothing selected, right here, I can't, okay, right now, it's uh, because I can uh, move it, I can't rotate it. So if I middle mouse drag it anywhere outside the bottom of the sphere, I can move it, okay? But if I go into actual editor again, I can't really uh, select the name and do the virtual sliding.
Okay. That only works in the channel box. Okay, now let's go over the, uh, make sure you set the timeline first. Okay, if you don't, you can't really do much. Um, you can't do what I'm going to show you. Okay, let's go back here. If I want to hit the play, I hold on Alt V, to play. Okay. And to stop it, press Escape key on your keyboard. If you want to go back all the way to the first frame, you hold on Alt Shift V. It goes back to the first frame. Okay, Alt Shift V. For example, if I'm here, I can hold on Alt Shift V as in Victor. It goes back. Okay. If I want to move uh, up one frame at a time, I hold on Alt and the comma key. Okay, sorry, Alt period would go forward one frame at a time. If I want to go from keyframe to keyframe, I hit the um, the uh, less less than sign, which is uh, above the um, comma key, or or I can click the uh, greater sign. Okay, see right there, it can go from uh, one keyframe to the other. Okay, and that's right above the period key. If I want to go back, I press the, uh, the comma key right there. Again, remember if you want to go one frame at a time, you ho have to hold that out period or out comma like right that. Okay. There's no keyboard shortcut to go all the way to the end, so but usually it's what you want to play from left to right, not right to left. So like that. So that's why there's no keyboard shortcut. Um, you can actually uh, create your own keyboard shortcut, um, but again, what's the point to go all the way to the end? Um, later on, I will show you how to create your own keyboard shortcut. And now, uh, let's go into the animation editor. If you go up to your window, animation editor, and then you go graph editor. Okay, make sure that your object selected. If you don't, you don't see anything. But if you set the object, now you see the keyframe. If I press F, as in uh, Frank, I see my keyframe, okay? You can select whichever um, keyframe and press F, it will zoom in. If you press A, it should zoom out, like that. You can hold down left mouse, and hold down Alt, middle mouse, to pan, Alt, right mouse, to zoom in. But you cannot hold down Alt, left mouse, okay? You, because you can't rotate it. Alt, middle mouse, Alt, uh, right mouse, like that. And if you want, let's, if let's say you want to zoom in really close, you hold down Control, Alt, you draw a selection box like that you zoom in very close okay if you want to zoom out control out hold on left mouse and drag it from low left to right there best thing is to press a the way you zoom out okay so if i do control out this it will zoom out press a to show everything okay if you want to move the um this red line right here forward you can hold on letter k and you left mouse drag it and that's how you can play forward backward hold down letter K and move it back and forward okay that's to move this red line right here 